Bam! What's up guys, it's Nick again. There is a new Spec Ops mode called Chaos Mode and it is incredibly fun. Easily the most fun I've had in Call of Duty in six months. And I'm gonna go ahead in this video and break it down for you. When you first spawn in, you'll see that there are guns and grenades that are just on the ground uh, with the gun and grenade symbols above them. Uh, when you go pick them up, it increases your multiplier, and I'll talk about the multiplier in a little bit, but um, it's a lot like Call of Duty 4 Old School Free For All, where you can pick them up and you get a new gun. You can only hold one gun at a time, unfortunately, one gun in addition to your USP with tactical knife. So for instance, you can't have the MP7 and the ACR, you could have the MP7 and the pistol or the MP or the ACR and the pistol. The goal of chaos mode is to get the highest score possible and keeping the multiplier up is the only real way to keep getting tons of points. Um, so when you initially spawn in, there will be a few Two minutes seconds on the timer. During this time, you can lose your multiplier and still keep going. But as soon as that uh, two minutes thirty seconds runs out, uh, if you ever lose your multiplier again, it's game over. Um, so there are ways that you can increase your multiplier, and that is through either killing enemies, picking up their dog tags, picking up guns, picking up grenades, or picking up care packages. Um, there is also when you shoot at people it keeps your multiplier from degrading and uh, falling all the way back to zero but it does not increase your multiplier you're awarded new perks at increments of 10 and there are a total of seven perks so you get perk at 10 multiplier 20 multiplier 30 40 50 60 and 7 and the perks are as follows the first perk that you get at 10 multiplier is sleight of hand so this does what sleight of hand normally does it cuts your reload times in half the second perk awarded at 20 multiplier is quick draw, and so this cuts the aim down sight time in half. The third perk awarded at 30 multiplier is extreme conditioning, and this will double the amount of time that you can sprint. The fourth perk, which is awarded at 40 multiplier, is stalker, so when you aim down sights, you can move at full uh, walking speed. The fifth perk that's earned is steady aim, and this increases hip fire accuracy by 35%. The sixth perk that you get isn't a perk that's actually in the multiplayer game. It's called Fast Health Regen, and the only thing that I can think it does is increase the rate of your health regeneration. Uh, I couldn't find any information on percentages or anything like that, but hopefully that information will be out soon. The seventh perk that you get is Juiced, and it's exactly the same thing as the Death Streak, and it increases uh, player movement by 25%. One last thing that I forgot to mention during the video, I kind of mentioned a little bit, is uh, the care packages. And the different care package drops that you can get are, uh, there's one care package that increases the uh, timer by 60 seconds. There's another care package that uh, gives you 5,000 additional points. Uh, the next care package increases your multiplier by 10. There is one care package that I really like that freezes the multiplier, so when you're in a pinch and you can't find anybody to shoot or you're being screwed you can just call in this uh, multiplier freeze that really helps out and then the last uh, one is a sentry gun so you can just place that down get a bunch of kills uh, eventually gets taken out but it is pretty nice it's also to be noted that the sentry gun keeps your multiplier going so that's kind of a nice bonus the strategy that I employed on dome was running between the PP90 and the AA12 on the outside of the dome near the cargo area uh, the PB90 is really one of the best weapons on the map aside from the MP7. Uh, the submachine guns really are superior in this. I do a lot of hip firing as there's a bunch of people and aiming down sights is just really kind of a waste of time. Uh, so I just ran between the AA12 and the PP90. Uh, advice that I could offer to you is the AA12's piece of shit and got me downed and lost me my fucking multiplier. Uh, aside from that, uh, use PP90 or the G36 because it's right there. So I don't know why I never picked up the G36. I just didn't think about it because uh, really anything is better than the AA12 because it is just a garbage weapon in this game type. Uh, anyways, that's all I have to say about Chaos Mode. Uh, I hope you guys check it out. It's really fun. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Not blah, blah, blah. whatever. Just like the video. Uh, also, if you want to see more content from me and Jason and me and Jason, that's pretty much it. Uh, subscribe. Uh, that's all I really have to say. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.